All right, Bruker, welcome back to another edition of the Trade Update. You know the drill. Let's take a quick look at the markets before going into the current positions I'm holding. Starting with the SPX, yesterday I mentioned how high and tight this consolidation range has been throughout Monday and Tuesday. And if we were to break out to look for a test of the 50% Fib retracement of the prior large move down, now we did get that breakout. And while we didn't exactly tag the 50% Fib, I still consider that as basically a tag because we got close enough before falling back down to the 20 and 50 MA. Now you can attribute that sell off towards the end of the day to the stimulus news or whatnot, but I don't really concern myself with trying to explain what drove the move or trying to figure out why the market did what it did or how much the market is going to move in the future based off of what was said in the news. What I'm more concerned about is how the market reacted at different signposts, different technical levels, because there were signals today that made me believe that the market is going to have a tough time moving higher from here. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm bearish. It just means that I think if the market were to move higher, it'd be a tough grind. So there's a difference. So with that said, Said, let's take a look at the market profile on the ES. So we started off the day here at this light blue marker, 33.31.75. That was an opening print on the ES in RTH. Notice that this is within the prior two-day balance area that we've had, the high and tight consolidation range that I was talking about yesterday. And early on in the session, we pretty much broke out of that balance area and traded above that area and even started spending a lot of time up here, building value up here. And at the time, I sent out a tweet noting that we had breakaway value, which is basically value area gapping away from previous days, in this case, to the upside, which is pretty bullish. And this was four hours into the trading session. So there had already been a decent amount of time that the market spent trading up here. But when the market began to sell off at around 1130 a.m. Pacific, I sent out another tweet saying that the piece of MGI or the market generated information that I was looking for specifically was how the market was going to trade in relation to the developing signposts today in the past two days. Specifically, is this simply a liquidation break? And will we just end up trading back up here at the developing point of control? Or will we fall back? back into the balance area from the prior two days. Because if we do fall back into that balance area and close within it, then that to me feels like a look above and fail, which negates the bullish action that we seem to have from earlier on in the session. And as you can see, that's actually what happened. We closed the day with a look above and fail, which to me just feels like the market is not ready to head higher yet. Yes, it is slightly bullish that our point of control, basically where we spent the most amount of time, migrated higher up here from yesterday. But our value area actually shifted downwards from the first tweet that I sent out. As you see now, today's value area ended up no longer gapping up and concentrated up here as it was at the time of the first tweet. And the profile is no longer a bullish P-shaped profile. Now the profile seems roughly evenly distributed throughout today's range, which isn't extremely bullish. It means we basically spent an equal amount of time exploring all of the prices in this range. If we had more of a wider profile, meaning we spent more time up in this range, but prices closed down here and this part of the distribution was narrower, then I'd say yes, that's more bullish, but that's not the case. We spent a good amount of time down here, which shouldn't be the case. The markets were truly more bullish. All right, switching over to the NDX. Now, this one is slightly more bullish as we are above both the 20 and 50 MA now, but also notice here that we basically tagged the 50% Fib retracement before backing off, right? So I think these small signals are things that I'm factoring into my outlook in the markets in the very short term. And that outlook is that we're going to probably be spending more time going sideways to up at best. With that said, let's talk about the positions I'm holding. The ES Butterfly basically expired worthless, so that trade is now over and done with officially for a loss of 55 cents or 27.50 per spread. As for Amazon, after seeing today's reversal and factoring in all the MGI that I mentioned earlier, I went ahead and I took the opportunity to roll up my 3300 call to 3310 and took in a 44 cent credit. The reason for this adjustment is that I'd rather do this earlier than later because if Amazon doesn't show some strength tomorrow, this adjustment won't go for this much of a credit. So I'd rather take in some credit now while I still can, all right? Now this does leave the fly with just $40 of profit potential, but that is still pretty wide given that we only have two days left in the trade and Amazon needs to go practically 300 points from here to cream the short strikes, which I don't think is happening. So we shall see. Looking at the risk profile after the adjustment, if Amazon does magically make it up to just 33.15 by early Friday, then we are looking at the spread expanding to about six bucks, give or take. But if not, no harm, no foul. We walk away pocketing our current 81 cents. All right. But that's basically it for the update today. Please stay safe in the markets right now. We are in very uncertain times and one minute you're up next, you can be down big. So do trade with caution. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and feel free to join us by checking out the links to our Twitter, Discord, and Twitch down in the description below. It's all free. We share our thoughts and trades, setups, entries, exits, all that good stuff, all that good commentary, and all those good vibes. But for now, 
Stay safe, recruit, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.